once you know the definitions of these terms sensitivity specificity positive predictive value negative predictive value and so on all you have to know is how to calculate them in other words you have to know their formulas and if you know these formulas it makes everything so much easier and you can solve pretty much any question that's given so sensitivity for example first of all you should know that all these terms they're actually fraction fractions so we have a numerator over a denominator as for sensitivity, we know sensitivity is the amount of people who, uh, who are actually diseased and correctly classified as disease, meaning they have a positive test result and it's, it's correct because they actually are diseased. Over the, all the people who actually have the disease, regardless of whether the test result is positive or whether it's falsely negative. So it's true positive over true positive plus false negative. Specificity is the people who are actually who, who are actually healthy, and their test results came out to be uh, truly. It came out to be negative, so they were correctly classified as being healthy. Over all the people who took the test, and um, and regardless of the results being positive or negative, they're actually healthy. So, which would include either you could either be true negative or you could be false positive, meaning your either your test result was correctly identified as negative. Or it was, or you were identified falsely as somebody who's po with a positive test result, and all these people are healthy. Um, another another thing to note is sensitivity and specificity. These two terms are what's known as pretest values. They're basically uh, all that means is that these these two uh, these two values, sensitivity and specificity, they they basically help you to determine what test is best to use for screening. Whereas a positive predictive value and negative predictive value, these are post-test values. This is, you already did the screening test and now the results are right there in front of you. Either it's a positive result or a negative result. And it just tells you the degree of confidence in which your test results, uh, the degree of confidence that you have um, that your test results are actually correct. So positive predictive value um, is all the people who have a positive test result and they're actually po uh, truly positive. So they're actually diseased and correctly identified as, d as diseased over all the people who actually have a t uh, who actually have a positive test result. Now, you, all the people from all the people who have positive test results, you could either be a true positive or you could be a false positive. Okay, a negative predictive value is somebody with a negative test result and correctly identified as um, as as a negative. So somebody who's uh, correctly ag identified as a healthy person over all the people who uh, took the test and still got a negative result regardless of whether they actually are healthy correctly identified or whether it's a false negative test result where they're actually diseased but they're incorrectly classified as being healthy two other tests um, two other two other fractions they need to know or formulas they need to know are accuracy and prevalence and they're pretty straightforward prevalence is um, First of all, remember, screening test is a secondary prevention, and you know secondary prevention focuses on decreasing prevalence. So screening tests, they can, they can help you with um, decreasing prevalence. So prevalence is, we know prevalence is basically everybody who has the disease. So prevalence, and, uh, prevalence is a term in which um, the formula for it is all the people who have the disease, so we know that um, they could either be a true positive, somebody who is correctly identified with a positive test result, or they could be a false negative, somebody who actually still has the disease, yet they're incorrectly classified as with a negative test result. So prevalence is all the people who are actually diseased, whether they are true positive or false negative, over all the people who, well, all the people who took the test. And all the people who took the test could either be true positives, false negatives, or true negatives, or false positives. So that's prevalence, is all the people with the disease who could either be true positive or false negative over all the people who took the test. Now accuracy is a term that doesn't care about anything other than that you actually classified the people who are truly who are truly positive as truly positive, like ba basically the people are cor correct who are correctly cra classified could either be a true positive or true negatives. So because these people, their uh, test results came out correctly, so it would be the test true positives plus.
plus the true negatives. That's accuracy over all the people who took the test, which would be the true positives over the uh, true negatives over plus the true the false positives plus the false negatives. So accuracy is basically all the people who took the from all the people who took the test results, um, which ones were actually true positive and true negative. Once you know these and you can and they make sense to you, you can do the questions.